Hi, I'm Nicole Erkin. We kick off this Monday morning with U.S. stock index futures down following last week's first weekly gain of 2014. Now let's take a look at some of the big movers today. First up, mergers and acquisitions. Beam was acquired by Suntory Holdings for $83.50 per share. This represents a 25% premium to the company's Friday closing price. The total purchase consideration is $13.6 billion, but that's $16 billion including the assumption of debt. Now we have highlighted this one at multiple times as a key name after it split from Fortune Brands, that theme of splitting up and pure plays. Let's move on. Retail report. In retail, Lululemon is down about 10% after the once-hyped lifestyle brand lowered its profit and sales forecast for the fourth quarter. Lululemon has had many hiccups last year in 2013, with product recalls front and center, of course, not to mention CEO Christine Day stepping down. With a new CEO at the helm, we need to see signs of better results before getting behind this one. We'll keep watching. Also, specialty retail company Express is down pre-market after downside fourth quarter guidance, seeing EPS of $0.57 cents to $0.61 cents versus consensus of $0.69. Cents. The company cited a promotional holiday season as well as a slowdown in traffic after Thanksgiving week. Remember, this follows a big drop of about 20% in early December after a disappointing third quarter. So investors will be waiting for more clarity from the company on merchandising, particularly after a strong 2013 had followed a dismal 2012 plagued by product misses. Now we'll be hearing a lot more about retail this week at the ICR Exchange Conference, so keep a lookout for more. Turning to food, Wendy's guided its fourth quarter and fiscal 2014 above consensus, and they announced a $275 million buyback to boot while reaffirming its long-term outlook. Now we've consistently highlighted the company due to its innovation, including that pretzel burger, of course, and the latest brioche, those are key, not to mention both offering both high-end and low-end to, cu- to its customers. So it looks like that UBS initiation of a sell last week was ill-timed at the very least. Now, very lastly, let's take a look at a couple of analyst actions this morning moving stocks. Jacobs Engineering, symbol JEC, was upgraded at UBS. We've seen a number of upgrades in the engineering and construction space. This is a nod to global recovery. Diana Shipping, DSX, was upgraded at Deutsche Bank, pointing to optimism in the dry bulk space. MGM was upgraded at Bank of America. Now, they're highlighting upside in Vegas and Macau, and we've seen a lot of upgrades of the casino names in the last couple of weeks. Morgan Stanley upgraded Red Hat and Fortinet while downgrading Symantec. And they said, while it's hard to get excited about utilities with rising rates, They see differentiated growth and infrastructure plays well-positioned, including Dominion Resources, symbol D. This has been an analyst favorite of late. So on top this week, retail conferences, JP Morgan Healthcare Conference, financial earnings, and more. Keep an eye out. For The Street, I'm Nicole Erkin.